I have a project I'm going to be working on and it is this screen porch area. It is a mess. Um, I'm aware of that <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna fix it up. We've been using it in the winter time to just store some things that we had to put away quickly for the hurricanes and some now we're swimming here. It's nice and warm outside in southern Alabama so we have some swimming things and just it's just a mess in here so I'm going to show you what it looks like and then I'm going to be doing a makeover so I need to know first of all if I show you this before that you're interested in seeing an after so that I can record it and share it with you guys this is what we're working with it is this room on the back of the house at the end of the porch and it is a screened in room yes isn't that nice oh if you have OCD you might want to just not watch this video I've got some string lights up there which are wonderful we have used these in the past I got them from Amazon if I can find a link for you I will give the link to you in the description box and then anything else I use I'll put that down there too these lights are amazing when I do the after I will show you what it looks like in the daytime and the nighttime uh, yeah and I'll show you all about those they run off of the battery box over there so anyway we have this window here that leads to the inside of the house this door here goes into the master bedroom you can see that we have some gardening supplies, some Halloween stuff. Uh, yeah. Um, that jug has extra water, car seats, we have the blower, paint, chairs. Um, that looks like a, the generator cover over there. This is a huge floaty. By the way, this thing's awesome. I got it on clearance at Walmart last year for like five bucks, and it is so worth it. Got some cushions. I'm not sure why the mop is here. Chainsaw, and some of the kids' stuff. So yeah, and this is our view from this room, so you can see why I really want to get this thing back into shape. It is an amazing space, and we're so blessed to have this kind of a view. Isn't that spectacular? The lake out there is man-made. They use the dirt where they dug out that hole. They use that to build the bridges that are up the road from our house and it is filled with nice clean water and sand. If you're interested I can give you a close-up of that when we do the reveal and the makeover so just let me know if that's something that you want to see and this is this is it yeah so one last look you can see we got some leaves stuck in there uh, let me back out the door we do have a screen door here with the little doggy door from a pup and this is what it looks like let me back up on the porch a little bit more show you what this looks like this is a log home so it does need some repairs but there's something that we have to work on a little bit at a time because maintaining a house this size can get quite pricey so but yeah so we're going to start off with this room because it's screened in and it can help keep the bugs off of us and there's a ceiling fan in there so we can stay nice and cool when it is warm in the afternoon
Hey y'all, today is the day. I'm about to get started on all of this mess. And I've got my iced tea with the sliced lemon and the fan is going and it is hot as Hades out here. Uh, but yeah, let's get started. <music> I'm glistening like a true southern lady. Oh. Okay, so um, I'll just show you around here so far. Everything is piled out there on the porch. I'm going to be moving it. But you can see that the got the garbage in the bag and everything around me has been moved out of the room. Except the plant and the basket. Okay, so that's all cleaned out. Now I'm going to, um, I'm going to gather up the things that are on the porch, put it in the wagon, and take the things to the garage, take the things that need to be put in the trash, and take the things that need to go to Goodwill and put those away. And then I will come back and start sweeping and wiping everything down.
Oh, it smells so good. You can't imagine. Ah, look at the little bugs. make out uh, to you today is if you live in the south timing for yard work and cleaning your porch is probably best done in probably mm, February before the wasp and the yellow flies and the humidity and the tons of dust that blow off the lake but with that said my mama didn't raise no lazy butt so we're gonna keep working I do hear some thunder in the background, so we'll have to see how this goes. Alright. So, we are about 45 minutes in, and this is where we are so far. Got a lot of sweeping and removing leaves and spider webs. Thankfully we keep this screen door closed all the time so the wasp have not had the opportunity to get in here and make any nest. So yeah got some spots there that are gonna have to be scrubbed up. That's where you know probably where oil and stuff spilled where we had things out here. But to give you an idea, to appreciate what I have to do here. So here is the side yard. You can't see through the screen it looks like. Yeah, okay. But anyway, we, I have to go around with the wagon, down the hill, down, 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 to the end of the concrete drive. And then all the way up the concrete drive into the garage. Now, with that said, is that in itself difficult? And I'll just tell you that going downhill, not a problem. Coming back uphill, thank God the wagon is empty most of the time. Because that is a booger of a walk. I don't know if I ever pointed this out before, but there is a, a uh, opportunity for vignettes or whatever kind of decorations I want to put up there. There's an opportunity right there. To do those things so we'll be looking at that still looking at the thrift store for another cover for this lamp and this one needs to be cleaned but I need two matching oil lamp covers look how crusty can't you appreciate a good a good crusty metal I know if you like rustic style you're probably loving this right now oh yeah all in the crusty zone Okay, there's some plant hangers right there, so we can hang wind chimes or plants in the corners. That one has seen one too many windstorms, but yeah. Okay, I think I've stalled long enough. It's time to get a big swig of that tea and get back at it.
So very shortly it is going to be raining. I can hear the thunder rolling. And I'm going to try to get as much of this done as possible. Because at least the sun's not as scalding hot as it was. It's a little bit overcast over there. And uh, I've swept just a brief sweep to get the potting soil and the big pieces off the floor. And now I'm going to get my little blower over here. And I'm going to blow the leaves out, blow the dirt out, blow out the stream. And there's some leaves that are on the ledge here. I'll get those blown out too. <sighs> it's already feeling so much better. So I'm going to drink, mask up, and get going. For today, I think I'm going to call it, and then tomorrow, <coughs> I've eaten so much dust, it's ridiculous. Look at this. It's just, eh. This is just gross. I'm, ugh, I need a shower so bad. <clears throat> and even though I wore my mask, I should have worn a different mask because the pollen and dust was still blowing all in my face and in my eyeballs. So, I am going to go in, cool off take a shower and start back over tomorrow. I feel like this is the perfect place to stop for today. So be sure that you subscribe, hit the little subscribe button, and be sure that you have the bell that's in the quotes when you get your choices so that you'll be notified every time that there's a video that comes up. And I look forward to seeing you in the next update. Bye! Welcome back. This is part three of my porch makeover. It's been a little bit longer than I would like for it to have, admittedly, but I wanted to try to do this as budget friendly as possible. So I wanted to use things I already had at home or some things that I could thrift. My hang up has been a rug for the floor, shades for my oil lamps. And so instead of using just the one because I haven't found another in three weeks time, I've decided I'm just going to leave the shades off for now. But I am ready to get this project done. There are still some spots on the floor. I have not got those up yet. Uh, no excuses. Just haven't done it yet. But I think I can work around them. Let's go. Here 
are the items that I have pulled out that I think I might like to use to decorate that spring porch. Minus the hammer and the water bottle, of course. Some of these are DIYs. Um, I've got two different kinds of rugs. And some DIYs here. So I'm gonna try to find some things that are cohesive. You can kind of see the theme I'm going with here. Kind of natural, woodsy, green. And then of course my metals. So these are some things we're gonna be working with. And we had a 4th of July celebration, so those are our floaties all ready to take back to the garage. But yeah, this is, this is what we got so far. And then of course, if I find something else I wanna pull out of the house, I'll go and grab those. I thrifted these little beauties. The first one was one that was already in the house, but these two metal ones I thrifted and they are perfect for this porch.
Thank you so much for coming along with me on this journey. I hope you give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the series. I think this turned out better than I even imagined it would have and for only a few bucks since the items were thrifted and things that I shot from my own home. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye!